We are standing in a very soggy Vancouver Island rainforest. All the rain that we get here means that this forest is full of giants, like the trees behind us. But beyond these big trees, they're also home to giant slugs that love the rain here. And today, we're talking about banana slugs. The banana slug is found all along the west coast of North America. They're the largest terrestrial slugs here and the second largest on Earth. They can grow to a length of 20 centimeters, with the largest reaching up to 25 centimeters. That's a massive slug. They're called banana slugs because of their color. So around here, they're mostly yellow-green, kind of like an unripened banana, and they range to a darker and more spotted one, like a banana bread banana. But you can tell it's a banana slug based on the ridge along its back. Filming the banana slugs has been fascinating. Each one is different and they're such characters. I'm amazed watching them move using their tentacles to interact with the world around them. Banana slugs have two pairs of retractable tentacles, the upper pair being optical tentacles, which are the eyes of the slug, sensitive to light and movement and can actually be regrown if lost, while the lower tentacles are used for tasting and feeling as they move slowly across the forest floor. And I do mean slowly. I'm here in my studio watching some of the footage back and I actually had to double check if I accidentally filmed in slow motion because that is how slowly these slugs are moving. Slugs move at a top speed of around 15 centimeters per minute, which can feel like we're watching them in slow motion. After speeding up this clip, you can see this banana slug's actually hightailing it. Banana slugs need the forest to be moist in order to survive. So whilst we might be stuck inside during our long, wet winters, for them, they're out and about and busy because it's the only time that they're able to actually get anything done safely. In fact, unlike most species, they actually hibernate during the warm and dry periods. They do this by covering themselves in mucus and slime and hiding away in the leaves and dirt on the forest floor. Here they enter a more dormant summer sleep, only re-emerging once the rainy weather starts again. One of the coolest parts about being around the slugs is seeing how they use their slime. It is like a superpower or something. I don't know, it's a brilliant solution to a lot of the problems that they're facing here in the forest. Slime helps them to stay moist. Their slime is able to absorb 100 times its weight in water, keeping the slug nice and damp even on those dry days. Slime also helps them to move. Slugs drag themselves along the floor with waves of muscular contractions, so the slime can help to lubricate the ground as they glide gracefully over any obstacles that get in the way. My favorite thing about slime is that the slugs can use it to communicate with one another. Think of it as like a giant social network spread throughout the forest. All along the forest floor, they're sending chemical messages. They let other slugs know how the slug who left the trail was doing, so who they are, what direction they're traveling in, and if they're ready and willing to mate. They pick up on these messages by eating the slime and kind of processing the pheromones to figure out what is going on with that slug. Banana slugs are big eaters. They're omnivores that feed on plants, detritus, and carrion, but they seem to have a special fondness for mushrooms, like this one. And it's another reason why they're so active during the rainy part of the year. You can see the mushrooms already broken down around the base of the tree, making it the perfect meal for this banana slug. Feeding is done through their specialized tongue called a radula. This tongue is equipped with over 20,000 teeth that the slugs then use to shred their food. They feed ravenously and will pretty much chomp down on anything they can find. Banana slugs are the forest floor cleanup crew, making them vital for this ecosystem. By chewing on dead organic matter, including fallen leaves, moss, and animal droppings, these detritivores recycle important nutrients. Slug excretions not only provide a nitrogen-rich fertilizer for plant growth, but they also disperse spores and seeds required for forest regeneration. Banana slugs help to break down those fallen leaves each autumn, making way for new growth in the understory in spring. Our forest just wouldn't look the same without the amazing banana slug. I still get so excited when I see them here because they're such a great indicator in the temperate rainforest. Yeah, and while they may not be the most glamorous, it's worth the time to take a closer look. They're very charismatic and incredible creatures, and they deserve more positive attention. Agreed. <laughs>